Hey, it's Kevin. I'm kicking off a new series here called Esoterica. Um, in this series, we're going to talk about some of the hidden meanings behind many of the symbols and catchphrases and other facets of our Western culture. Um, what I'm going to start off with first is the triangle. Now, a triangle is something we see almost on a daily basis here in the West. Most of us kind of see it and move on to our business and don't give it much thought. Uh, but with this symbol, as with so many others in our culture, there's usually going to be at least one, uh, probably more often a, a lot more, hidden meanings behind the face value. One of the hidden meanings for this particular symbol is heavenly perfection. So if you notice this downward facing triangle, it, the, the focus of the triangle is pointing downwards. In other words, it is symbolizing the perfection of God or the perfection of heaven, and that is pointing downwards towards the earth. Now the flip side to this is the upward facing triangle. And when most people see this these days, they tend to think of a pyramid as the, the primary symbolism uh, behind this sign. Uh, and that while there's truth to that, there's also several other symbols and meanings that go behind it. One of which is material perfection. So this particular symbol, one of the meanings behind it is a perfected state of earthly matter. You notice the point is pointing upwards towards the heavens. So the opposite of the previous triangle, which was pointing downwards and denoting heavenly perfection or eternal perfection, this particular symbol denotes earthly perfection or material perfection. So one would have to ask, what would a combination of those two elements look like? If someone was trying to get a point across, saying uh, we are the combination or we possess the combination of earthly perfection and heavenly perfection, what in the world would that symbol look like? This is the symbol that they would use. Commonly called the Seal of Solomon or the Star of David, this symbol is actually denoting the combination of earthly perfection or material perfection and spiritual perfection or heavenly perfection. So any country that were to fly this on their flag would in a sense be saying they possessed such a state or such a situation. Any society or club or group that had this as one of their symbols would be indicating as one of the meanings behind it that they had knowledge that could lead to such a state. And so that begs the question, if societies or countries use this symbol in a way to denote this combination of earthly and heavenly perfection, where else is this symbol seen? Is it just the Israelis who use this? Is it just some secret societies or are other people using this symbol for other purposes or for uh, a way to express the idea of this combined perfection? The answer to that is yes. And an example of that is most likely gonna be found in your purse or wallet right now. And what the hell am I talking about? Well, give it a second and you'll understand what I'm saying. Well, what I'm talking about is what's coming up in front of you right now. The $1 bill, the US, or should I say Federal Reserve. And what do we have here on the back? Oh my, there's that symbol once again, right above our bald eagle. What in the world would that symbol be doing there? Could it possibly symbolize what we were just discussing? Well, maybe. Maybe it's saying something similar or maybe it's saying something differently. We'll talk about that next time. And as an aside, if we scroll over, look at this. There's a pyramid, i.e. a upwards pointing triangle that is not complete. In fact, it's only completed with a little bit of help. I wonder what that means. 
But you see how ubiquitous this symbol really is. It's on the back of our most basic currency note in the most powerful country in the world. Some would say, oh, it's a Jewish conspiracy. I don't think so. I think the symbol predates the Hebrews and certainly the Israelis using it by a long shot. In any case, though, we'll talk about that next time. We'll decode the back of this bizarre U.S. dollar bill that most of us have or at least have had in our possession many times over. And as a final reminder, esoterica, the information I speak of in this series, is available for public eye. Anything I say in this video series, in this vlog as it were, is available for public research on the internet or in any library in the country. So nothing I say here is going to be privileged information at all. It's all available. If you choose to seek, you will find it. Next time we'll discuss the real meaning of this mysterious $1 bill. In the meantime, God bless you whenever and wherever you are at.